can't relate tattooed on me. Be right back. <laughs> As you can see from Jeffree Star Snap. I'm sure everyone's heard the Laura Lee drum. Sucks to be her. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just received my first Play by Sephora box. And this is a $10 box just like the Ipsy and I've been giving Ipsy for two years now. So for today's video, I am doing a battle of the bag and the box, whatever you guys want to call it. And I want to see which one is better. So if you want to see what I got, please stay and watch. So the Ipsy bag comes with five products and the Sephora box comes with six products. For the questionnaire on the Ipsy bag, they ask you all kind of stuff. They ask you like, what do you want? Basically like what you look like, what color you are, what colors do you prefer? They ask you a lot of stuff. So for me, I feel like the Ipsy bag is a lot more customized or so far it has been. Everything's been to my liking and I really, really love everything I get every single month. Ooh, got more face mask. Okay, so this is the baggie, and it's kind of like an orangey canvas material, very fitting for the summer. Inside every bag, you always get this little card, and this one says confidence level, selfie with no filter. And it's got some information on the back, uh, usually about some of the products that you get, uh, but it's just a little card. I always end up throwing it out anyway. So you get five products in your Ipsy bag. And the last time I got face masks, they counted these two face masks as one product. So I didn't get these exact ones, uh, but I did get two other different ones. These look like to be, it's like Korean maybe, Korean skincare. Now they do have the instructions in English as well, very small down at the bottom, but it's a face mask. You don't really need instructions except for how long do I got to keep it on. Um, this one is Juice Up Blackberry Mask and this one is Juice Up Kale Mask. It doesn't necessarily say if it's for a specific reason like to brighten, acne, moisturize. It doesn't say. So I'm pretty happy about more So I feel like you can't ever have enough. Okay, so for inside of the bag first product um and most of the time these are products i've never heard of so sorry if i don't say them right plus i'm poor and i can't afford expensive products so i really don't know the name of things most of the time so this product is called deli so this is concentrating brightening essence this has apply morning and evening before your serum or cleanse skin this is a little glass bottle it has a very light sweet oil smell hmm. i'm excited about this this is something different i've never gotten before next product is a also another product i don't know how to say it but i have a lot of their products just through my ipsy bag this is a glow to highlighter illuminating powder highlighter by siate it says this is in the color moon dust Ooh, i like that wow this is very beautiful bright shiny um i was kind of scared that it would be a little too white and so then i would look like i have white spots but honestly it's not it kind of has like a pinky tint color once you have it on this is really nice so the next product is in a dc new york or a Desse new york this is um a nail polish and this is a beautiful i don't want to say it's like a red color or maybe it just needs mixing whatever let's try one of my fingers it's kind of like a crawfish orangey red if you know what crawfish is Wow, look at that beautiful paint job. I really do like it and I love nail polishes, so I'm pretty happy about this. Okay, so for the last product in my Ipsy bag, it is the Trust Fund Beauty Lip Gasm Lip Gloss. Oh my God, I love lip glosses. And this is in the color Text Me. How cute. This is like a nude, orangey, super glossy. Like you see the glitters in it. So this is just super neutral, shiny color that just enhances your color of your own lips. And this is really cute. I love this. Okay, so that is it for my Ipsy bag products. And I absolutely loved everything. No polish, uh, especially this lip gloss and the highlighter. I love masks because like I said, you just can't ever have enough. This right here was a great bag for me because it's a lot of the products that I absolutely love 
in colors that I absolutely love. So I'm pretty happy about this bag. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to show you what I got in my Sephora play box. Okay, so right here I have my play by Sephora box. So right here at the top, it comes with this little card or pamphlet thing. And at the front, it's my 50 Beauty Insider points. So with every box, you'll get this little card that you'll take to your Sephora and you'll get that much in points, which is really good because you know, you add up your points and you get to get some really, really cool stuff or save it up for discounts. So you open this up. Oh, and it basically tells me everything that's going to be in the box or I'm expected to get. Let's open up this cute little bag. Aww, so these are the bags and unlike the Ipsy bags, the Ipsy bags always have like little zippers and things like that so you can actually use it like an actual little makeup bag. These I've noticed that they're all like little pouches that come like this. Which is also really cute, but I do like the security of having the zipper there for when I'm traveling or just whatever it is that I'm using for. So the first thing at the top, Amika Shampoo and Conditioner Duo that contracts brassy tones for bright shiny hair. Okay, so this shampoo and conditioner is for blonde hair. I have black curly hair and I do not have any color in my hair. So this is a little strange that they would send me this. It almost seems like it's what they had left over, so it's what I got. So oh, I don't even have any blonde friends where I live at right now. So this is pretty much going to be trash. This is not starting very well for the Sephora box. The second product is Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So this is actually a facial mask, and I absolutely love anything that has to do with skincare. This is a purifying mask that deeply cleans and refines pores for silky smooth skin. This is just another little product that I'll leave in the bathroom and I'll use whenever I remember to use, but it's always nice to have facial products for, you know, breakouts or whatever it is that you have going on during the time. So I'm actually, this is, this is good. Okay, so for the third item I got in this pack, it is a Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper in the color clear. I don't mind lip plumpers or anything like that. I mean, they're good, but honestly, I have really big lips already, so I don't normally try to go for plumping lip products, but it is a gloss, so I can just put it over a lipstick. And this is what the product looks like. It's, don't wanna say it's clear, it kinda has like a little yellow tint to it. I don't wanna put this on because I really love the gloss that came with my Ipsy bag, so I don't wanna mess that up, but I mean, this is something good. I can keep this teeny tiny and I can keep it in my purse for just in case of an emergency. Okay, the fourth product is this Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. It says that it's for all hair types. I don't think that this is the dry shampoo. For some reason, I was thinking that it was. I think it's just a spray that you use in your dry hair. It's supposed to be a long-lasting texture and touchable flexibility to your hair. So, I'm kind of confused as to when I would use this. I mean, when it's dry, I guess but does it control frizz or what? I think it's more for volume, but I am definitely not missing out on the volume, so I don't really know if I'll be using this or not. I might just to try it, but honestly, it's not anything that I need. So one product that I am very excited for is this Makeup Forever Little Mini Artist Robe Cream Lipstick. And this is in the color C211. Oh, it's so cute and tiny, Oh. So this is a very beautiful, like purpley, mauvey color, I think. I mean, lipsticks, I feel like I can't go wrong with just because this has been so tiny. I can also throw it in my purse and in case I forget to put some on at home, I can always have something to travel with. But I've heard a lot of good things about the makeup forever, so I know this is probably going to be really good. The last product I got is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in the color Clear. So as you can see, I have really thick eyebrows. I do not color them in. I do not do anything to my eyebrows, but they do tend to grow out really, really long. So this clear brow gel is really gonna come in handy because I can brush them out. Now I'm not familiar with Anastasia brow gels, but with this being clear, I really doubt that it would mess anything up. So yeah, this is good. All right, so that is it. And my final decision on which bag is better, it is definitely the Ipsy bag this month, which is, is my first time getting the Sephora bag, but I didn't really feel like they catered to my likings. There was a lot of random products. As to where Ipsy bag gave me colors and products that I will actually use. Um, I'm really excited about my Ipsy bag, but I always am because they send 
the best products but like i said hopefully with the sephora the items that they send me will get better but yeah i absolutely love 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 my ipsy bag and now i'm super excited to be doubling it up on the products that i'm getting because half the time i don't even buy regular makeup anymore because i have everything that i need from these samples that usually lasts me a long time and by the time i run out of one product i'm usually already getting another product so yeah